What's up, motherfuckers? What's up, guys? SJ, uh, 91. And I look different, but because my hair is braided, right? So I know a lot of these other Ram fans out here are making these fake videos about, oh, well, we're going to smash everybody's team. We're going to do this. Don't listen to them, guys, man. They're not real Ram fans. The ones that always say, we're going to smash. We're going to smash them. We're going to smash them. They're, all, they're, they're just not. They're, it's fake news. Fake news. Donald Trump. All right? If a person can't take a humble game, or actually a football game, and actually look in it and say, hey, this team has a good chance of beating us, which, in my perspective on things, is a division rival. They know us. They play us twice a year. They have a chance of beating us. And you know what? The whole game, I probably grew about two or three more gray hairs because I was nervous in this game. So those other fake-ass people out there that want to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to smash them because of Seahawks. We're going to smash them because we beat them before. Fuck on them. This is the realest that you'll get of any Rams fan right now. I don't, I don't approve of that shit. I know. And maybe, hopefully, they watch this channel because I want them to know who they are. It's really pissing me off that you guys, uh, other Ram fans, that I, I know all you guys' names at the channel, that you guys do this shit and say, oh, hey, uh, they're going to smash. They're going to smash. As a Rams fan myself, I get sick of hearing that shit because it's any given Sunday. Look what happened today. Patriots lost, all right? You have to take this shit every game. You can't just say, oh, yeah, we're, we're going to win. You're a stupid, illiterate Rams fan if that's how you think. Or any fan. This fan, myself, I think things. I look at stats. I do that. I don't just say, say we're going to whip every team. I was nervous about Seattle. They almost fucking beat us. All right? I don't play that bullshit. In the end, still not happy with our defense. Our defense did okay. We shouldn't have even had them scores that many points that's that's bullshit you know um marcus peters did better he did better no one uh you know really got off on him so he did better uh as far as uh, as a whole you know donald did good the thing that killed us the reason why this game was so fucking close penalties penalties killed us we had the most penalties in this game than we had in any of the other game this season and every fucking time the first whole half was all penalties. And I hated this shit because, you know, um, what's the name? Da the one we just got from fucking Jaguars. Uh, penalty. Fucking uh, Sue. Penalty for roughing the pass. Like we, it was all penalties. All shit that we never really do. Penalties for all that time. And so my thing is, that's what killed us. We should have won by more. But that's what killed us in this game. Defense did okay. That's why I say okay. Because if they would have got rid of those fucking penalties, we would have been okay. Like, we would have been maybe 14 points ahead. Okay, so here's the thing. 9-1, I am very happy with that. KC, I can't stand KC fans. I'm not going to do what the other Ram channels do and be like, we're going to smash, we're going to do this. I will say this. As a real true Rams fan, I am nervous about KC. Yes, it's in Mexico City. I am nervous about it. But if we win, we win. But... Don't anybody out there that's saying, uh, any Ram fan out there that's saying, oh, 100% will win this game, then they're stupid. They're just fucking dumb. I want to give you guys how I feel honestly. I don't play that bullshit. You guys know me that you guys have been following me for the, for the whole channel from since we started this. I don't fuck around. I don't, I don't do this shit for views. I talk to you guys because you guys deserve an honest reaction, and I give you my honest reaction. My team offense struggled a little bit today. But in the end, defense won it for us by stopping. So I appreciate that. But I told you guys before, offense always can't do it. Defense is going to have to. Cooper Cup got hurt. Don't know how long he's going to fucking be out. So this next game is a big one because we need a fucking Cooper Cup for this game. So if he's hurt going through KC, um, yeah, but it's okay though because in return, Sammy Watkins is hurt for them. So I don't know. Well, I will say this. I give Seahawks fans, fans out there props. You guys are a hard fucking team to beat. Um, man, I mean, I have no nails, and like I said, I, I grew more gray hair and shit. Respect to the Seahawks, and if you guys don't have respect for the Seahawks, you guys are stupid. I'm, I'm sorry, but you got to give respect where respect's due. They're, they're a good team. I almost, I, I'm, this ain't a bash video, but I almost want to throw out some names of other channels that have been fucking just talking some stupid shit. And I love my Rams fans, man. But I don't like stupid talk. Sorry about that. Um, if you guys have any any questions, um, 
of, of any other game. Raiders or fucking, like I said, Patriots. I mean, if you have any questions, hit me up. I'll respond back to you guys. I want to talk to you guys. I'm a more realistic person on talking about sports than look at last week. I didn't want to make no fucking video last week, but I did. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. If you guys haven't seen it, look back last week, week nine, when we played the Saints, we lost. I didn't like it. I was butthurt, but I still did it. All right? I gave the Saints respect, just like I give Seattle respect. They came close twice to beating us. So, point being, how did you guys feel about it? You know, was it just me or, or have you guys seen these uh, stupid channels out there that, I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe it's just me. Because I get tired of people always saying, um, we're going to win, we're going to win. But I guess Raider fans do that a lot because um, we have a lot of friends that are Raider fans. And, oh yeah, oh yeah, they were like cheering the Raiders on like they won the Super Bowl. But I love the Raider fans, man. You guys are cool as fuck. You guys are more cooler than the Niner fans. Yeah, I said it. Overall, I know I'm babbling a little bit, but uh, that's because of, that's what happens when you've been drinking all day, you know? Hold on, let me take a drink. Anyway, those of you who want to talk real football, hit me up in the comments down below, man. I don't want to hear those, we're going 16 0, we're going the bullshit shit. You know what I mean? I don't like that shit. You don't look at your, your facts, obviously. Um, KC is going to be. It's going to be a hard one. You know, um, if you guys are betting on that game, bet a high scoring game because I'm thinking maybe close to 90 points overall. Those teams score. Those teams score. I'm not really happy with our defense, but, you know, they got it done. Um, yeah. So I will say, I love you guys. Those of you guys that want to keep staying tuned, stay tuned. Questions, I will answer. We can't go live because we have a copyright strike. I should probably said that. Uh, but final thing, those fake ass channels out there, speak to your audience real. Don't, don't bullshit them. Tell them the truth. You, you keep saying, you know, every game, every game we're gonna win or this game sucks. Just like I watch him. One of the, I'm not gonna say the name, but one of those Rams fans out there, is a big Rams fan YouTuber. Oh yeah, we're gonna smash the Saints. Yeah, you got humbled real quick, so you ate your own words. You have to respect the game, guys. Respect the game, and stop talking shit. None of fans like talk shit, so I don't care. Anyway, if you guys want the realest, I'm not gonna. This ain't a prop, but if you guys want the realest. You know, the way I see things, and I even talk about my own Rams fans, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's how I am. I'm real about it. I don't play that bullshit. Um, if, if, let's make some bets, man. Let's make some bets on the next picks. If you guys have a bet, I'll take a full view of the face. I mean, come on, let's have fun with this shit, you know? I mean, there's not, you guys really are just talking about your picks, which is cool. But let's make some bets. Who wants to make a bet with SJ? Comment down below if you want to make a bet with SJ. And when I respond back to you, Game on. We'll make that bet. You want me to chuck a whole beer? Maybe wear a little girl wig? But then you have to respond back too. You have to just show me that you're going to be a man of your word or a female of your word. Who wants to make a bet with SJ? Like, subscribe. First one I read and wants to make a bet with SJ. Maybe the second one. I don't know how vicious you guys. You guys get vicious. Anyway, guys, <laughs> take care. I love you guys, man. Nine and one, baby. LA Rams. Hopefully, hopefully, 10 and 1. Take care. Let's bet. Peace.